So, a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this series on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. We were discussing constellations and uh, we were stuck at this point where we had multiple or uh, we wanted to know that uh, if we have a symbol AM that we have transmitted and we receive a symbol Y then how do we decide that uh, which out of those symbols was transmitted. So, because there is ambiguity introduced due to the noise. So, I will copy this slide, I will paste it here. So, the question is that given M between 1 small m, 1 and capital M, how do we decide which AM was transmitted? So that we can say that this symbol or this set of bits was transmitted. To answer that, we say that obviously given y want to choose am that is most likely to have caused the given am at the receiver. So, we now generalize it. So, here we had uh, talked about uh, a QMY, but more generally let AM be a complex valued vector. W is a W is also a vector, vector such that W 0 and not i say length n then y equals a m plus w and equals by n naught to the power n minus y minus a m by n naught this this piece. So, now We put this down mathematically and say that therefore at the receiver define AM hat equals max over M probability given by this this but we may only know the prior probabilities 
transmitting AM and the of Y given AM. Therefore, AM using Bayes theorem, AM hat using Bayes theorem hat equals R max M hat probability of AM being transmitted F over N one two capital N A N. So the denominator will be common in all cases, so we can cancel it out. Comes R max over M AM by given AM. This this is uh, the posterior maximal probability case. We will in a separate course on digital communications this would be explored in detail, but for since we are focusing more on the simulation of communication systems, we can and without the loss of generality, assume that PR AM is constant for all AM or equal to 1 over capital M without the loss of generality. In that case, m hat equals arg max m 1 over capital M f y given a m equals arg max m 1 upon pi n naught e to the power minus y minus n naught this this is also constant max m minus y minus a m y n naught and this equals arg min y minus a m square. So, we want to choose the aim that lies at the minimum Euclidean distance from the received symbol want to choose the transmitted symbol that lies at a minimum Euclidean distance from the received symbol. So, this is this answers our first question how can we recover a transmitted symbol, but this still does not answer how do we measure the ambiguity between two symbols and how do does the number of constellation symbols affect the ambiguity. So, to we will answer that question in the next lecture. Thank you.